Hi, welcome. My name is Prue, or Prue LaRue, and it's been a while. <laughs> I really didn't think my break was going to go this long. So, I'm going to start off today, we're just going to do like a full face, get ready with me, chit chat. I've already laid down my sunscreen, this cooler stuff, I'm just trying to use it up. Anyway, I just really want to start with, I am very, really, really sorry for how long it's taken me to come back. I didn't think it was going to be this long. I really didn't. And let's talk about that. What's the best way to start? <laughs> um, I got the flu. I'm pretty sure it was the flu because I've never been that sick in my life. So I'm just going to lean back and look at my mirror. I was just like in bed. I had no energy. I couldn't do anything. And when I filmed my last video, I was just so sick. But I was like, I need to give you guys an update. And then... And being sick, it sort of gave me a chance to take a break from everything, take a break from filming all these videos for you guys, and like filming videos for myself as well. And this is actually the second time I filmed this video about saying sorry and coming back, so it feels a bit strange to talk about this all again, but I filmed it and then never got around to editing it. I'm gonna, I need to go to the shop straight after this, and then I'm gonna come back and edit and hopefully upload this for tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's just been super strange. So, I've mentioned this before on my channel, but I read Barefoot Investor, which is a pretty famous book in Australia. And it just gave me a chance to sort of think about my makeup purchasing habits and like where my money's going. So while I was sick, I did have enough energy to sit down and export my whole bank statements from the year and figure out how much money I actually spent on makeup. And it kind of blew my mind away because I didn't realize how much I was spending. Going on the Flower Beauty in a fair L12. I didn't, I don't know, like, I've never gone in debt and I've never, like, owed money for the makeup I've spent. But I definitely haven't saved money. Uh, and working out how much I spent just gave me a real chance to evaluate, like, what am I doing here? Like, why am I spending this money? And how do I feel about makeup? And to be honest, it has changed a little bit. Last year it was all about the purchases. All about buying makeup and just being so happy to buy it. I loved getting stuff in the mail and packages. It just made me so happy. And it's such a weird thing to do. And I know that definitely lines up with the aspects of having a shopping addiction. I don't feel like I've ever, I don't feel like it was a shopping addiction, but I definitely could say how you could see it that way. Uh, just because like, if I wanted to save something else or something, I could do it. Like we, we traveled a lot last year and I saved up and paid for that and didn't buy makeup for those things. But in total last year, I spent about $9,000 on makeup and it just made me think about like where I'm going with this like what am I trying to do what am I trying to prove who am I trying to be and why does one person need this much makeup doing my palette collection video really made me sort of get some good feedback on my collection as well a lot of you guys sort of said that you know <laughs> maybe you should get rid of some of the drugstore makeup like you obviously aren't using it and it was a good chance to evaluate that a bit. Because I haven't really spent much time, like, being serious about it. Like, it sounds a bit stupid to say. But I've just been enjoying the process of watching all these beautiful makeup videos and sort of participating in my own way. But I was also getting really down about people receiving PR. And I know that's a really selfish, like, I don't know, it's such a weird feeling to have. And I really struggled with just feeling okay with it, um, or letting go of it, really. But I was starting to feel really just, like, angry that people were getting PR and that here I am, like, in Australia and it's so hard to get things on time. It's so hard to get things early. Like, I would love to be a reviewer who could get stuff to you, like, could get videos out really quickly, but I just can't. 
and it's also hard working a full-time job as well like I do 12 hour days when I'm working I'm just about to start doing three 12 hour days coming up this week and it's so this is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder I always forget what colour it's the fair light it just really made me think about like what am I trying to achieve with this channel what am I trying to achieve oh, with myself I'm sorry I just realized the microphone's not working <sighs> I'll be back in a sec alright I think we're working sorry I finished powdering off while I was waiting to figure out if I could fix it um let's see what I can do so I was feeling really just down about not game PR and it's such a stupid thing to feel like that about because I'm so happy for the people who do get it it's absolutely amazing to see and it's a really cool thing to see but I was just I don't know like I think I was starting to feel like why am I spending this much money and I guess like the little voice in the back of my head was always like one day I'll get PR and I've just had to deal with that and it may feel like sounds so stupid to you and I'm sure it does but it was kind of hard for me to do but I feel like I've come to peace and I don't feel like I don't know I just I don't feel any bad feelings about PR anymore like it would be amazing to receive it but I don't think I'm ever going to be the person to receive it and it gives me a chance just to be more mindful of my purchases and not such like a negative Nancy other people because it's silly I feel like there's always such anger with indie brands that people never want to say anything bad about them but one of the things that got me the, probably the most upset I would say is the Shroud Cosmetics pre-order which I was so excited like you know it was cool seeing everyone get it but I was still waiting and it took so long for it to get here uh, all my friends had like all the people I watched had already posted up videos about it I ordered it the 24th of September at it was like some ridiculous hour in the morning 5 50 a.m. that I got up for it and then it didn't deliver or go start shipping until the 10th of December and then after that it still took I believe two weeks it got here on the the 20th of December so it took like uh, two weeks after that to get here and then the lovely Cher Jonathan who I'll link down below had also ordered in the same order and she you know like so I think I was a bit stressed that we went that it was taking so long because like you know I had someone else like the order and then I was also wondering if we would get like the new three eyeshadows that came out for the Moonfall collection because it's kind of you know I thought it would be a nice like apology for having the order take so long because they couldn't find like the shade thing for the brown and I had ordered the PR package as well and just when it all came there wasn't anything sort of extra or special and it just made me feel like unappreciated because I don't know like I just seen all my friends get like free stuff and I didn't and it's because like I'm just like a normal consumer and it's just like letting go some of those kind of things it's a bit hard sometimes I'm use my hourglass ambient so I can go with this one it's like a bit you know and it's just realizing that it's silly like no one owes you anything and just because it would have been nice doesn't mean that they should do it I'd just been so excited and then to get it and to feel like unappreciated was a bit silly I don't know like it's, it's such like a hard thing to complain about because it's like I'm complaining you didn't give me anything free but I'm not really I don't deserve to get anything free for buying a product and I think it's just that realization of like the people who are getting my money don't really care that they're getting my money like they're giving me my product and I'm sure they're great for their brand like it's another person buying like whoop de doo but they're not you know they're not my friends and it's just accepting that in a way this is the Laura Mercier 
Number four. I think it's like funny because I, I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way, but like brands do become like your friends. And it's not like I ever talk to any of the brand owners or anything like that. But because you use the products every day, they become part of your routine and like your family. But it's, it's not a super cool thing. They're objects. They don't care. <laughs> so it's just a bit silly. Uh, the reefer, reefer brush debacle also really frustrated me. I had ordered the Kickstarter way back in the day. Um, they arrived to me like on the 29th of December after ordering them the Kickstarter. I'd reached out to the company and they'd said that the Australian turnaround was not essential and they felt really bad, but they hadn't said that before I reached out to them and said, hey, I still haven't got my brushes. Um, and that they're moving to DHL Express from now. And they sent it from like Russia in like really cheap packaging. And it was just, it was just sad. Because I'd been so excited to get these brushes. I'd seen so much hype for them. And then when they came, it wasn't like, I don't know. It was just waiting. Like, it was boring. <laughs> I was just waiting for these brushes to come in. And it just took them and that excitement out. And they came and I somehow had ordered all different brush handles. And looking back on my order, I had done that. But I don't actually remember being able to choose the brush handles. And it just like ruins my OCD a little bit. And that's like one of those really stupid things to complain about. And it's like where it's hard to come back and be like, so I accidentally ordered the wrong brush sizes and it made me really upset. But that's what I think I've sort of had this like unhealthy obsession with makeup where I've been expecting more from it than it can give me. Um, makeup geek sucked. I like. And so it's just sort of dealing with that as well and coming to a healthier thought process with it all. I would really love to have a schedule and I know I'd promised to do weekly uh, singles roulettes and I'm keen to try and do that but I'm working the next three days and then on Saturday when I wake up we're going to Melbourne for the weekend and then I come back on Tuesday and then I'm working. So it's hard to find that balance of life and this and you guys. I'm still struggling to work it out. And I think I will continue sort of struggling with it. I'm not sure. I'll, I will try and get... I do love creating videos like this and sitting down with you guys and just having a chat about it all. And hopefully you guys can relate with some of what I'm feeling. I, don't, I feel like it's... I don't know. Just being a bit dramatic. But ultimately for me... My thoughts on makeup have shifted. My thoughts on PR and like stuff that have shifted, which has been really positive for my mindset because I was getting quite negative with it. And I was struggling to talk to people who might understand about it because I didn't want to offend them or make them feel bad or you know, make them think I'm like a total idiot. <laughs> I sort of feel like. Ugh. I just feel like. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I went into this expecting. I do appreciate you guys so much. Like, you have no idea. The Maybelline in Lover. That was Kylie and Dazzle. I've just been working on shifting my thoughts on it all. And shifting my approach to all of this. Which has been difficult in a way. Oh, and my partner, he got me the... Sleeping Beauty eyeshadow part for Christmas and the mirror that you've seen me playing with. So let's go into this a little bit. I'm excited to have a little bit of a play with it. Let's see. There is absolutely no shimmers. So I think I'm going to pull a shimmer from somewhere else though. And the book doesn't really want to stay open. <laughs> so I don't know if I should pull the pages out so I can have the eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure. Has anyone like DIY'd this? I'd love to know. Just things, thoughts feelings about everything has sort of been changing for me a bit. I'm really feeling, I want to like lay down some like other colors. I'm going to use the Adobe 102. I'll figure out how to safely use this. I'm just going to lay this all over my lid to blend down the eyeshadow primer because I feel like it today. And the other thing is just sort of coming to terms with as well, like I've put so much weight on over the last year. Me and my partner got engaged recently. 
which I'm super excited about. But I'm also super intimidated about like a wedding dress and being fat or like being a curvy bride. I don't know, like it's just not what I thought. Does that make sense? Like I didn't think I would get to 30 and still be overweight. Like I have yo-yoed with my diet for so long. But also thinking that maybe filming videos like this all the time isn't going to be the most helpful thing. And it would be fun to have like a reason maybe to go outside a bit more and do some exploring. So I've been thinking about setting up a second channel, which is maybe a bit more lifestyle focused and set myself like some nice healthy challenges to get myself out there a bit more. So I thought that could be something fun to sort of change up. I'm going to go in, let's like do some building up today. I think. 89353. So I'm going to go into this green down here. Just feeling very green today. And just the same brush. Um, it has been just a challenge and something that I really want to change in my life. And maybe finding the time to maybe film some videos here and there about exploring that side could be a positive experience. I've also been thinking about maybe talking about nursing and just like things I know about. Talking about things that I'm a lot more confident in my knowledge of. Like I think I've got a reasonable knowledge when it comes to makeup but I feel like I could be better and this definitely isn't my whole life. As much as I'd love it if it was. It would be so much fun to just sit down and play with makeup all day every day but I've mostly stopped wearing makeup to work because I just got sick of the comments I really did and it's not even like bad comments or I think particularly bad I just got sick of like if I accidentally chose like a lip that was too bold for the morning or you know I feel like a hair right here that's what I'm going to say I think I got it. All right, then we go on with 89350, which is this green down here. This is not the most practical eyeshadow palette to play with. I'm going to keep using the same brush because why not? And I'm just going to bring this like up and a bit more. And it's like, not that I got particularly bad comments, but some people seem to be really offended when you wear makeup and it just getting some comments like from people when they're waking up after surgery is like not the most fun because I want people to focus on my work and like them getting better not on what I've put on my eyes that day so I might get more into it I see maybe doing some I can use do some foundation wear tests and stuff but I definitely aren't that keen on doing a lot of it so when I go to work I'm not wearing makeup anymore so just haven't been feeling it for work lately let me get back to oh, what should we use this is Dust 103, which is like a light brown. I'm not lifting this palette up again, I'm sorry. I'm going to put this under my eyes. I just got a bit sick of just comments about makeup. And then it was a bit weird at, um, at like a family party. I got a few comments like about like, are you still doing that makeup thing? Uh, because people who I haven't told, but I've been told by other people, been told about my beauty YouTube and my beauty Instagram. And it was just... I don't know, like it was a bit confronting. And I guess I'm a lot more shy and demure, uh, easily put off by people's comments than I wish I was. I'm gonna go back into that first green, 89353. And I wish I wasn't, but it just kind of really got to me a bit. Especially because at that time I was really evaluating what I was doing with this. And I haven't really felt like I've been able to express to anyone exactly how I feel about it all. Let's find a shimmer to lay down. Or should I put something in the inner corner? Let's do something in the inner corner. I'm just going with 89343, which is like a mustardy yellow. Because it is hard to talk about all these sort of things. And a lot of people don't really appreciate like the fun side of wearing makeup, I think. It's interesting talking to people who just buy makeup for its functionality. And per se, like me, who's someone who likes to buy makeup. I like to have all the new things. I like to play with everything I want to try. For so long I've wanted to try something from like every brand. 
which is like is really an impossible goal. I'm going to go into Coral 102, which is like a light pink. I'm just going to dust this over the top because I can see the Too Faced primer being a bit gross. I know it's hard to find people who fully get this and I am not very good at expressing how I feel about some stuff via messages and stuff and it's hard to know how people are going to take you as well. So back to that dark green. I'm just going to blend this a little bit more up here. Uh, like people definitely understand like makeup fatigue and stuff like that. But there is something that comes with trying so like hard at something like beauty YouTube and really just kind of failing. I mean I don't feel like I have failed. I feel like I've made some really good friends and it's been amazing. But I haven't had the like success that I thought maybe I would. Oh my god. Yeah, it's good. So I've got the heaps of sweets from Shanexo palette. This is a couple of times. I don't think I like it a lot, but it's okay. Like it's plenty fun. I'm gonna go in with apricot, and then spending so much time online as well. What was it? I got tricked. So someone posted on the Reddit for Australian makeup and said that Flower Beauty is leaving Australia. And I was so stressed out. I was like, oh my god, no, it can't leave. Because that's Drew Barrymore's brand. And it's a really nice drugstore brand. So I went out uh, to two different chemist warehouses. The only store that sells it in Australia. And bought all these, all her blushes, her concealer. And it's like some brow thing I haven't figured out. Is it here? Yeah, this thing. The brow master was I still don't know how this works <laughs> and then I remember I asked at the second chemist warehouse I was like are you guys discontinuing it because it was all 50% off and they're like no way we would never discontinue flower beauty we're the only stockers for it and it brings like lots of people in I was like oh my god I can't believe I just read I just blindly believed the internet and I just felt like such a fool I really did uh, especially because I went out and spent money mindlessly again on makeup because I was worried it was going to leave and I just didn't need it at all. For a bit of a shimmer I'm going to go in with, let's use sugar. sugar. I, yeah I just, I felt like an idiot. So it's been an interesting little while of just coming up with different perspectives on everything. And trying to find time for different things like one of the big things is like I haven't been making much of an effort to maintain friendships like in the last year like 2019 because I was so preoccupied with doing YouTube I haven't felt the need to go outside and you know make friends because uh, I made so many friends here but it is really important to have friends in real life so I've been making a bit more of a focused effort to spend time with people in real life. This is the Lancome Hypnose in Doll Eyes. And that's been just really nice. But it's also meant that I haven't felt like I've had the same amount of time here to spend with you guys. Or the same amount of energy to spend with you guys. So I'm just working out the balance of everything. I'm not going to stop doing beauty YouTube. It would make no sense with the collection I have. But I'm probably going to find a way to make it all work for me. One thing I've been thinking about doing is like doing these chatty get ready with me's. Just sitting down and playing makeup and then talking about something. Um, whether or not maybe that's in, like a nursing related topic or TV shows or something. I thought maybe that could be a bit more fun for me to do and like let me know if that's something you might be interested in I'd love to know your thoughts let me know what you think about like if I should start another channel uh, talking about you know maybe my journey with weight and stuff uh, I know that a lot of that stuff would be quite triggering for people so I would be interested to know if it's something you think is worthwhile doing or is it like already super oversaturated I feel like being an Australian you have to mention the fires that has been stressful to watch go down. 
I believe they're mostly out now. The rains have come and saved the day. Which I think is such a funny concept that we needed rain. Like that we are not good enough. But it's been absolutely devastating to watch what's going on in Australia. I think um, it's up to you what you want to do. I feel like a lot of people have already done the donating and everything like that. And if you have, fantastic. I don't feel like I know where the right place would be to send money. So I don't feel like it's my place to talk about that. But uh, luckily no one I know has been affected or impacted. So it's been really lucky. I have to say I'm super impressed with the best of my eyeshadows. That is an annoying palette to get at. Um, has anyone seen any good hacks for that? That would be amazing. Like, is there a good way to maybe get the eyeshadows out? Uh, like, maybe I could use it to store other stuff and put the eyeshadows in a single palette. I don't know. Let me know if you've seen anyone do anything to it. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope this sort of helps explain a bit more about where I've been. Thank you for everyone for all your support um, and hanging out and waiting for me. I really appreciate it. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about. I would love to know. And I have really missed all of you. So thank you for stopping by. Uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Mwah.